The President, please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. I hand over the floor to Counsel Victor Copé to resume his line of questioning. Hello again, Mr. Peck Chim. Just one or two follow-up questions um, in relation to my questions before the break. You might not remember, um, but I asked you some questions in June uh, 2013, uh, during the first trial. Um, so I think I know uh, already the answer to the questions that I want to ask, but I just want to ask them again. Um, have you yourself, uh, while in District 105, witnessed any executions, any killings of former law and officials or military? d'ancien officier ou militaire de l'ONNOL. No, I never witnessed uh, the execution of the L'ONNOL soldiers. The following question I asked you also already in uh, June 2013, have you yourself ever ordered the execution of former Lonol officials or military? I heard I, I heard you. I heard you say "atte." Uh, entendu dire "atte." No, I have never ordered any execution of Lonol soldiers. Are you aware? of any executions of Question. former Lonol officials or military um, in your district between 1975 and 1975? Yes, I have. Um, never witnessed the execution. I have never ordered myself, but I am aware that there were executions. Let me turn to um, the, the sector chief, the chief of sector 30, uh, Tassam. Um, you have given testimony to the investigators about Tassom. You spoke briefly about him um, in your earlier testimony. What can you tell us about Tassom? What kind of person, in terms of political line, political stance, was he? On that issue, um, well, I did not know Saum um, before following the coup d'état. And actually, following the coup d'état, I uh, saw him. Before that, I had never met him. Um, they uh, whisper uh, to me that uh, he was from the 
uh, sector. He was newly appointed uh, person from the sector, and then I got to know him from that point in time onward. He was from Cognu, and I was from a different place, but in the Je evening uh, we went to endroit, that place and then uh, we met and I was told by my colleague. It was not um, a, an open introduction. They whispered uh, to me uh, so that I uh, got uh, to know him. And subsequently I uh, continue uh, my work and there was no suite, uh, appointment uh, or official appointment or so from the uh, upper authority uh, so whenever there was the uh, assignment or so from him then we would uh, follow and then Long afterwards, uh, there was the uh, official appointment Des as the sector part, committee. But during the festivity the uh, or any Ensuite, celebration or any function, uh, they would uh, sit on stage uh, Alors, in the committee. I knew him and his work uh, by asking other people. Actually, he was among the intellectuals who were from the city, from Phnom Penh. I did not know what uh, he did uh, in 1968, uh, I know that uh, he got married to a wife uh, from Kampung Chenang province and he uh, once uh, took uh, refuge in Kampung Chenang uh, province. When he came, a uh, post uh, came with him and then one year later Tamok appointed him. Capacity wide and and courage. Actually, he was uh, he had a chronic uh, disease. He had problem with his uh, back. But uh, he was well educated. Uh, he was uh, literate. Uh, he was very good uh, in my literature. Was he seen or considered um, by the party as someone who was a leftist, somebody who was radical, somebody who was in favor of the Cultural Revolution as it was implemented in China? From the party, I did not know, but among the mass, uh, particularly the people in the village, in the commune, uh, he was known to be someone who was very strict and aggressive. And being aggressive, it means that he was very firm with his stance, he was very strict in his uh, decision. Would you be able to, to tell us what connection he had with Chuchet, alias C? He did not have any relation or connection with Chuchet. Actually, Chuchet was uh, his uh, superior, and uh, Tamok was also his superior, and he follows the uh, instruction uh, very carefully. He was very firm in his uh, position, and he was very uh, straightforward in his uh, uh, point and decision. Uh, in his uh, study session, uh, people would understand it very clearly uh, on the lessons that he uh, taught. I actually saw Chuchet once. Uh, he went uh, there, and Chuchet uh, attended the uh, district office. 
Saum uh, was there as well. He came uh, to my uh, office. But at that time, uh, there was no any uh, disagreement or so among them. And Tamok was also there uh, with them. That happened after the liberation. Après la libération. But as to their uh, connection, uh, to my knowledge, I don't think that there was any connection between the two. What happened to uh, Saum? Was he at one point arrested? No, he was not. He was not arrested. Il pas été arrêté. He became sick Il est tombé malade. toward the end, and then he fin. was admitted to a hospital in Phnom Penh. Actually, his wife, wife had been admitted to hospital uh, before. His wife delivered uh, the baby, but then he uh, became seriously sick. And he was admitted to hospital. And then once the uh, Vietnamese uh, troop came in, uh, we evacuated him. And he left uh, for Cisopon. And then they asked uh, him to move uh, further. And then, but he just declined uh, to uh, move out, even if his wife insisted that he move out, but he uh, said he would not move out. I don't know what happened to him. He was almost became uh, uh, mad or so, and he could not, uh, he did not want to go because he said the Vietnamese came into Cambodia because of him. He did not want to leave. And then after that, uh, we did not see him anymore. Did he at one point in time also start working for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? His name was actually admitted to Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but he himself was being hospitalized at that time. Well, that, that was it uh, then. His name was in uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, he, his name was added, actually. There was somebody yeah. uh, uh, but in terms of the ranking, uh, he held Quant a higher ranking grade, uh, position than the one who was uh, at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. When was the last time you saw him? Question. Quand -vous vu pour la dernière fois? I, before I left, I uh, said goodbye to him, and he uh, wept at that time because um, he said that uh, I was the only one who had uh, uh, supported him and had uh, fed him uh, when uh, they all left uh, Takao uh, province. And when he was admitted to the hospital, at the time it was uh, the Pressang Hospital. Je crois que c'était l'hôpital de Pressang. When I came to Phnom Penh to visit him, I brought with me uh, a bunch of coconut, uh, and then he uh, wept at that time. Uh, and I only visited him uh, briefly. Je ne lui ai rendu visite que très brièvement. The president. President. Mr. Uh, Pichim, Monsieur I Pichim. Uh, have reminded you uh, so far that uh, you need to be uh, brief uh, in your uh, response. Uh, you have to try to listen to the question uh, put to you, and you try to answer uh, to what is being asked. You do not need to uh, 
uh, go further uh, than what is being asked because we are running out of uh, time. And it is, in, uh, it is you who will be tired at the end of the day if you uh, give long answers than necessary. Very brief, very brief question, um, Mr. Peck Chim. Did you see some after 1979, after the Vietnamese had invaded? No. The last time I saw him was when he was in hospital. Um, what about the Under Secretary um, of Sector 13, Penn? Pen. What do you know about him? Penn uh, was appointed the uh, sector chief, uh, 43, sector 43 chief, but uh, wherever he Mais went, he would drop by my house uh, in Kampung Cham. With Kapok, uh, he would uh, eat uh, there and uh, took the rest there as well. Later, he was uh, removed. Uh, he uh, was transferred, actually, to the uh, southwest zone. So uh, from that time onward, I did not know Ainsi, anything about him là, anymore. And what was the relation between Penn and Chu Chet, alias C? No, there was no relation, Il avait pas de and uh, entre they ask uh, the reason why he was removed from that. Is said because his brother Pourquoi had been arrested, and then uh, when the Vietnamese uh, came, uh, arrivés, he was struggling in the jungle, Il and uh, he got jungle. killed over there. Il I actually heard uh, from others, one of my relatives were uh, dead uh, in that uh, fighting. I actually lost one son in that fighting. And finally, do you know what the relation was, if any, um, between Takiv and Chuchet? No, I no. don't. Um, Chuchet was the leader of the Western Zone Question. at one Chuchet point, but at one point also West together with Tabok, um, the leadership of the Southwest Zone. Do you remember when exactly the zones were divided into two zones? When was that? that the south was, southwest zone was split up in two zones. I cannot recall. I cannot recall it clearly, but je I um, recall that it was Mais after uh, 17 April 1975 that it was split into two. Uh, one was the West cette Zone uh, under Chuchet and the Southwest under Tamok. Do you know why Chu Chet was arrested in uh, March 1978? No, I don't. Do you know what the relationship was between Chu Chet and Sao Pim? 
the leader of the East Zone. Le lien entre le dirigeant de la zone est, Sao Pim, et Chu Chet. No, I don't. No. You were asked this question by the investigators question. as well, but I'm asking you again. Do you know who Runim was? Je vous la pose à nouveau. Savez-vous qui était Runim? I only heard his name, but I have never met him. I only heard his name and his work that he was responsible uh, for one of the zones. He was uh, maybe responsible for uh, one of the zones in the east or uh, so. I only actually knew his names like I knew the elephant. Do you know anything about a uh, coup d'état led by Question. Sao Pim in 1978? Have you heard of a coup d'état led by Sao Pim in 1978? No, I don't. No. Well, can you tell us about any rebellion? You spoke earlier in your interviews uh, to the investigators about a rebellion. Yesterday you also spoke about internal struggle. Um, who was fighting whom? Uh, can you be a, a bit more specific as to uh, what you meant with groups of uh, cadres within uh, the CPK fighting each other? Can, can you explain us a little bit what you meant? I try to clarify it uh, briefly. I learned of that uh, situation, then I thought to myself, why did they uh, argue uh, with each other? Then I found out later on uh, that whenever we, uh, they arrested someone, they would implicate others in the parties and then they would uh, arrest uh, them. So that was, uh, that was the situation. Uh, there was a, a implication from one person to another. So then uh, people uh, in the parties found out that that was not the right uh, decision, that was not the right uh, approach uh, in the party, then uh, it, uh, uh, the, the problem uh, uh, took place. And then like uh, Tamok and Chu Chet did not uh, come into terms with each other. That's why uh, the uh, zone was split into two, so that one could control uh, one zone uh, exclusively. And then, for example, Sai, Sai in Kampot uh, province, uh, people uh, allege him of uh, uh, being loyal to the uh, Vietnamese, uh, then he was removed. But that was the allegation. We did not know whether or not he was uh, the uh, string uh, of uh, the Vietnamese uh, at that time. Uh, nobody knew. I am trying to be frank uh, in Cambodian uh, culture. So he was uh, in prison. So that was the implications uh, he was uh, charged with. And then he would uh, he would be interrogated uh, about uh, the other cadres in the uh, east zone with Sao Pum and others, and it was uh, the same thing. When one Wei uh, was in power, uh, he was not a very influential person in the party. La personne qui était au pouvoir n'était pas une personne de grande influence dans le parti. And eventually, I, I, I will try to be exhaustive because I do not know if I have time to come back here again. Eventually, Tamok and Pol Pot themselves uh, disagreed uh, with each other. They argued with each other. In other words, the two giants were fighting with each other.
luttaient l'un contre l'autre. They clashed. There was a brief uh, exchange of fires, and then after Il that, uh, Pol Pot handed over uh, the uh, power to Tamok uh, to take control of both in uh, political powers and military power uh, to be under the control of Tamok. I actually did not attend uh, the meeting uh, that uh, resulted in that decision, but I learned from those who uh, took part in the uh, meeting. And then uh, he agreed uh, that Tamok uh, would control uh, everything. It's a little bit. It's a bit um, out of the scope of my, my question, but just to follow up to, are, are you talking about a clash between Tamok and Pol Pot in the period 75 or 79, or back in the 80s or 90s? Tamok and Pol Pot, qui a eu lieu entre 75 et 79, ou plus tard dans les années 80 and 90? Captain it was in 1979. Réponse, c'était en 1979. Well, well, actually, uh, it was toward the end uh, of, à vrai dire, vers la fin of of that uh, uh, period uh, when uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, was um, this dismantled. Au moment du démantèlement and Long Wain was uh, taken over. A été prise. The Khmer Rouge last stronghold was dismantled. Right. Right. Um, let me let me go back, um, Mr. Pekchim, to um, que je revienne, the word Monsieur implications. Pekchim, uh, you, dire, you were saying people were implicating other people. De, um, did you know that um, Chuchet had implicated um, Salm, um, Penn, and Keith Pen as his collaborators? Or, or you did not, did you not know that? Ou ne le -vous pas? The President. Mr. Pitcham, please be mindful of the uh, microphone uh, before you speak. Uh, you have to wait until uh, the microphone is activated. Witness response. No, I do not know anything about it. The president. Uh, the chamber uh, observes that uh, you are becoming uh, very tired. That's why the chamber gently reminds you uh, to try your best to only answer to the question uh, being asked. Uh, you should try to avoid a very long winding uh, answers because you will be uh, fatigued uh, at the end uh, of the day. So you should uh, try to answer to only the question ask veuillez donc à ne répondre qu'à la question qui vous est posée Mr President would it be an idea to if that's correct what you're observing uh, that the witness is indeed fatigued that we stop now uh, because we will continue tomorrow anyway um, and maybe a half hour tomorrow would be more fruitful than a half hour now uh, this is just a suggestion it's, a, it's of course uh, to your wisdom <coughs> C'est une suggestion. Je me remets à votre sagesse. Mr. Pachim. Monsieur Pachim. Uh, the chamber would like to know whether La you chambre, can uh, continue si for another half an hour. Votre déposition pendant encore une demi-heure. If you si uh, restrain yourself through only responding vous through the points asked of you, then the chamber is certain that uh, you will only certaine. be required for tomorrow morning and then you can uh, return home. So uh, please tell the chamber uh, whether you would like to uh, stop now or whether you can si continue for another half an hour. Witness.
I'd Thank like you. to uh, continue for another half an hour and I'll try my best to answer the questions. President, questions. if there is the case, the uh, Council, you si may ainsi, continue. Maître, Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Pechim, in Mr. answers Pechim. to investigators Mr. of the co-investigating judge, uh, you uh, made some observations in relation to um, Pol Pot, Tamok, um, Son Sen and Nguyen Chia. Um, I would like to read uh, an answer that you gave to you, that is E319.1.18. Um, that is your answer. Um, 58. And, and the question is as follows. La question était la suivante. Um, let me let me rephrase, Mr. President. Let me start with uh, answer 56. That is, that, uh, that might be easier. Question: To your knowledge, did Tamok have authorities over other zones apart from the southwest zone? Your answer. During the time the internal problem occurred, Tamok had authorities to take control of the northwest zone. Later on, when there were problems in the central zone and the east zone, Tamok also had authorities to control the central zone and the east zone. As far as I knew, Pol Pot authorized Tamok, and it was Tamok's basic tasks. Question. To your knowledge, did Tamok receive orders directly from Pol Pot or Son Sen, alias Brother 89, Chief of the General Staff? Tamok received direct orders from Pol Pot. Question. What convinced you to believe that Tamok received direct orders from Pol Pot? Answer. Because Tamok was the second person to Pol Pot. Organizationally, the first person was Pol Pot, Pol Pot the second one was Nguyen Chia, and Tamok Nguyen Chia was the third Tamok. person. But when receiving orders, Cependant, Tamok, Tamok received, received direct orders from Pol Pot, Pot, not Nguyen Chia. Pas de Nguyen Chia. As for, Sas, as for Sun, Sun Sen, Sen, he was in the Central Committee of the Party, but not under Tamok. My question to you, Mr. Pechim, this seems to be... Um, Je vous pose la question suivante, Monsieur Pechim. Uh, high level knowledge of the command structure. Can you tell us how you know this? Uh, Mr. President, just uh, uh, thank you, Le President. President uh, witness, please wait, and the uh, deputy co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Adjoint à la parole. Uh, just to correct the record, I think Council may have inadvertently mis misread the last part of it. The uh, transcript or the interview actually says, as for Son Sen, he was in the Central Committee of the Party, but under Tamok. Uh, Council read not under Tamok. Uh, I apologize, but under Tamok. Um, my question, Mr. Witness, this seems to be, uh, your answer seems to be quite detailed knowledge knowledge of the um, organizational structure within the standing committee. Would you be able to tell us how you know, how you knew this, uh, that uh, Tamok was in, in fact uh, the number two uh, faction? Uh, allow me to clarify if uh, he was the third person, not the uh, second person. And that was based on my inquiry with the people who were familiar with uh, the organization, the structure. And people in Phnom Penh actually told me about that, that who was the first, the second, or the third person. And previously, it was not organized in that way. Thank you for that clarification. Um, it was very helpful. But my question was, how do you know this? Uh, did you just hear it from people, or did you have any other um, way of knowing such de detailed um, 
aspects of the command structure. I asked the questions to the people that I knew. I did not dare ask the Tamok. And uh, in fact, I asked a guy who involved at the center, and he was also head of the zone. So the Tamok was at the zone, but when he uh, came to the center, he became the uh, deputy. And there was also an announcement about Il y a également eu une annonce the uh, Central uh, Permanent uh, Committee members. Les membres du comité central du parti. Some say it was a uh, du candidate du parti. standing uh, member, and he was the last person amongst the five. Pol Pot, Nun Chi, Tamok, Ying Sari, and Son Sen. Donc Son Sen, le dernier des cinq membres, il y avait Pol Pot, Nun Chi, et Tamok, et Son Sen. As the rest, they were in charge of the zones. Ils étaient responsables des zones. Let me try another example from your statement to the OCIJ investigators. Again, E319.1.18, in your answer to question 95, um, you said the following. The question is, you said that Son Sen was under Tamok. To your knowledge, was it possible that Tamok was the one who assigned Meas Mut as the Division 2 secretary? Answer, I do not think so, because the Central Committee, Central Committee in charge of the military made the decision. The people in charge of the military included Son Sen, Tamok, and Pol Pot. Not a single person decided this matter. It was decided by all of them. I would like to answer that I do not know the answer to this question because I'm not sure. In the following question, did you know if it was possible that Mia Zmut was an assistant member of the military committee of the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea? Answer. At first, I did not know. I knew it later. I saw Mia Zmut in, in a film. Then I secretly asked a high-ranking person in the army. Then I was told that Mia Zmut was an alternate member of the military committee of the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea. Uh, again, Mr. Pekchim, this seems to be detailed knowledge about um, structures uh, in the highest positions of uh, the CPK. Um, du PCK. Can you tell us a bit more about how you came to know this? Nous dire de quelle façon vous avez été mis au courant de tout cela? So, I asked uh, questions Réponse. and I uh, discussed with the uh, people who were familiar with the uh, structure. Parlé avec I les qui spoke to Boon and mostly I uh, learned from Kai Pok. And that is all. That's how I obtained voilà that tout. information. Voilà I understand. Um, Question. Je comprends. But can you explain explain to us why it is that you do not really know um, Sao Pim or Runim or Heng Samrin? Is, is there any reason that you don't know anything about them or is it that you do not wish to speak about them? We were living far away from Réponse. one another. He, I refer to Sampram and Heng Samrin. I uh, cannot say that I know them. Je ne peux donc pas dire que je les connaissais. I understand that you Question. might not know them 
je comprends not have bien known them personally, but que, vous les, que vous ayez pu ne pas les connaître personnellement, more, mais je vous demande de réfléchir plus avant. Que pourriez-vous me dire de Sao Pim, uh, Runim, Runim Chuchet, Chuchet, Vonvet, Vonvet. Que pourriez-vous nous dire à leur sujet No, I Réponse. cannot tell you anything else. Je ne peux rien vous dire d'autre. As I was at uh, the other side of the country, and they were at the, other, at the opposite side, and I only move uh, rather at the east zone. There was uh, Rohingyam and Saupam, and sometimes I uh, confuse uh, these two individuals. And upon my arrival, I did not meet them as they had uh, passed away. So I don't know what else I can uh, tell you about this. Um, Thank you, Mr. Pekchim. I'll move on to another topic. Question. Merci, um, Monsieur Pekchim. Je vais passer à un autre sujet. And that is your knowledge as to what happened in terms of um, food supply, healthcare, education, etc. In the other districts, in uh, sector 13. Are you able to tell us anything about? Um, what happened there between 75 and 79, for instance, you might have had discussions with other district secretaries of these uh, districts. Can you tell us a bit more about the situation in these other districts in Sector 13? Uh, in fact, I only uh, can say Réponse. about the general uh, term and situation. Je ne puis vous parler que de façon très générale de la situation. For example, you talk about uh, the production of potato exemple, and whether such a potato production was uh, produced in various other districts Je like on Koche or Kohandat or Tren. And maybe the situation uh, was worse in uh, Treng uh, district. At, at that time, we uh, provided rice uh, at the request of Saum. Uh, if I recall uh, well, the, we gave them several batches of rice. Uh, sometimes it was uh, 10 sacks, uh, and the other time it was uh, 15 sacks. And uh, in fact, uh, when we decided to send them the, the rice, uh, all the communes under our district also agreed to that because uh, they were in short supply. As at that time, both the best people and the new people had to grow. And we, stick, uh, we, we follow the principle of our old saying that we should have those who were in need. And that was with us in our spirit as well. But in, in terms of implementation of party policy, um, here in this court we are focusing on uh, the events in District 105, um, but I believe it would be helpful if we are able to somehow compare the achievements or non-achievements in District 105 with the other districts in Sector 30, um, based on conversations with other leading members of Sur these districts. Can you tell us a bit more about how secteurs, party policy was implemented in these districts? From our observation and uh, later uh, on through our discussion, Après nos discussions, par the la suite, uh, the yield uh, or the achievement was uh, moderate. 
That will be the uh, level that we estimated. Do you know whether people were hungry um, in District 106, 107, 108, or 109? We were all in the same situation in terms of uh, a food shortage, for instance. And what about, for instance, the decision, uh, the apparent decision to uh, disrobe or defrock monks? Um, do you know whether this happened in District 106, uh, 107, 108, and 109 as well? I cannot uh, recall that because uh, by that time all monks had come uh, through uh, state at District 105 and none of them returned to other districts. However, there were a few in Uncle J district. So, uh, in terms of measures for the monks, it applied all across the districts. Talking about um, the policy toward monks, do you remember whether there was any directive or order within the revolutionary flag um, when it comes to Buddhism, when it comes to the treatment of monks? Do you remember any central guideline written down in any of the revolutionary flags? qui apparaissait dans l'étendard révolutionnaire. À ce moment-là, j'ai lu une fois, mais je n'ai pas lu le tout et je ne peux pas me souvenir si il y avait une politique policière dans le magazine ou pas. Turning to the revolutionary flag, um, you've given testimony that you uh, read the revolutionary flag between 75 and 79. Um, was the revolutionary flag also meant to um, announce party policy to the sectors and the district? There uh, was an uh, announcement in the uh, revolution, Revolutionary Flag magazine, and some policy lines were also repeated in the uh, magazine as a reminder to the cadres. However, sometimes, because we were busy engaging in our daily affairs, we, uh, we tended to forget about the uh, policies. And it it did not mean that we did not want to adhere to the policies. And that is all. Have you seen? Have you ever seen any uh, policy announcement in the revolutionary flag um, about uh, marriages in democratic Kampuchea and about what should be done? In relation to marriage policy, I uh, cannot remember it. Réponse: Je ne m'en souviens pas. I 
only uh, know uh, in general terms, but not the specifics de façon générale, mais je ne pas of les uh, that uh, principle. Je ne pas les de ce and principe. of course, I read it in the Flag magazine. Mais bien sûr, je and we tried uh, to follow uh, the guidelines uh, stated in uh, that uh, magazine to the best as we could. And returning again to the question of, of, of Buddhism, what do you remember having read about policy toward Buddhism in Democratic Kampuchea in the revolutionary flag? Sous le Kampuchea démocratique dans l'étendard révolutionnaire? I read it and I Réponse. consider it personally, Je lu. although I did not discuss the uh, issues with uh, my uh, colleagues. And I try to uh, consider myself and to analyze the issues whether uh, Buddhism had any uh, impact on the revolution. And I uh, concluded that uh, Buddhism did not have any impact on the uh, Revolution, que le bouddhisme n'avait pas d'impact sur la révolution. Le bouddhisme était tellement uh, so gentil que le bouddhisme était une pratique très douce pendant plus de 2000 ans, mais nous n'avons pas gagné quelque chose. Au contraire, nous avons perdu notre territoire. Nous n'avions rien gagné. Mais je vais le dire de nouveau, c'était ma analyse personnelle. So I believe at the time, based on my conclusion, that Buddhism did not have any impact on the revolution. Did you ever order people within your district not to practice Buddhism? No, I did not. Whoever wishes to uh, practice Buddhism, Quiconque they were le freely allowed to do so. Le faire en toute do you know of any instances where people Question. were punished si for having practiced cas, Buddhism in your district? There was none. Réponse non, personne. Uh, Mr. Pekchim, we have Monsieur had, um, I believe, two witnesses testifying to Deux the trial chamber that in, I believe, 1975 had witnessed um, the demolition of uh, Buddhist statues in pagodas. Statue Have you heard about this? En avez-vous entendu parler? Yes, I did. Réponse, oui. I actually uh, gave my answer on uh, this point. J'ai déjà répondu à ce sujet. That in general. It had to be demolished. J'ai déjà dit qu'en général, il fallait qu'elle soit détruite. I, I uh, maintained my silence, and it did not mean that I agree with that silence. practice. Cela ne veut pas dire pour autant que j'étais d'accord avec cette pratique. But I'm not sure if, if I understood you correctly. Question, je ne suis pas sûr de vous avoir bien compris. Who was responsible for the demolition of Buddhist statues? Qui était responsable de la destruction des statues bouddhistes? Le savez-vous? I think I heard your answer uh, in Khmer, but could you repeat it, please, with the light on? Pourriez-vous répéter, s'il vous plaît, une fois que votre micro sera allumé Il 
No, I hey, don't. No, I don't know who demolished the uh, Buddhist statue in the district 105. Do you know who had ordered? Question. Savez-vous qui en a donné l'ordre? Uh, who had ordered that the demolition? Who was responsible for this? Qui était responsable? I mean, in terms of uh, instructing people. I already uh, said about that it was the uh, chairperson of the party who gave that instruction, although I uh, did not like it, I Moi, kept uh, quiet. And as for those people who actually uh, did the demolition, I did not know them. De and uh, actually, uh, the meeting was held for the district committee, Une including Kom and Nye. And who was the chairperson responsible? Question. And qui, was this person punished for his acts or her acts? It was the party, and Kom was the chairperson of the party. La présidente du parti. Kier was the uh, deputy, Kier était le, and the other person was uh, a member. Et la troisième personne était membre. But do you know whether they had Question. that they have acted that they had acted under the instructions of upper echelon, or was it an act by them only by them without any authorization si from the upper echelon? Initiative qu'il l'avait fait sans avoir reçu d'instruction de la part de l'échelon supérieur à ce sujet. I uh, knew that they did not initiate the instructions, but they obtained the instructions from the upper echelon. Reçu cette instruction de l'échelon supérieur. And who precisely do you know? Question, et savez-vous qui précisément? During the uh, meeting, Réponse. Com, who was Pendant the chairperson réunion, of the party, gave us the instructions on the demolition and that we had to implement it. Um, so I, I, I did not know who else were assigned at the uh, commune level. As at the district level, it was Com who gave uh, that instruction to us. Cette instruction, qui nous a donné cette instruction. Do you know why Question, uh, in Phnom Penh, Pourquoi à Phnom Penh uh, there are no reports of demolition of Buddhist statues de in pagodas? Destruction de statues bouddhistes dans les pagodes. President, Le President, the witness, please wait, Monsieur and the deputy co-prosecutor, co you have the floor. À la parole. Uh, uh, the objection is that counsel is leading and, and testifying himself. Uh, uh, I don't know the, de la the basis of this, this assertion témoin, on his part, but he shouldn't be leading the witness and testifying. I will, I will rephrase. Um, Mr. Beckham, do you know anything about the fate of uh, Buddhist Monsieur statutes in pagodas in Phnom Penh between 75 and 79? I cannot answer your question. Réponse, je ne peux vous répondre. 
I actually don't get at your question. Uh, what do you mean uh, about the impact of uh, Buddhist statues in uh, Phnom Penh? And I, I would uh, like to seek uh, clarification from the President of the Chamber on this issue. President, uh, the Council uh, wants to know whether you know uh, what happened to Buddhism, and in particular to uh, Buddhist statues and to uh, pagodas in Phnom Penh during the period of Democratic Kampuchea? Answer, yes, indeed. It happened uh, nationwide. Cela a eu lieu dans tout le pays. I talked about the impact. So it not only had an impact on the uh, on Buddhism in Cambodia, but uh, it had an impact on uh, Buddhism elsewhere, including uh, the Buddhism in China and throughout the world. President, uh, thank you, Council Copper, and thank you, Mr. Pichum. We adjourn today's proceedings now, and we will resume uh, tomorrow, nous that is uh, Friday, the 24th, April 2015, April commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. The Chamber will continue to hear the remaining testimony of the witness of Pitchum. And Mr. Pitchum, the, th the Chamber is grateful of uh, your presence. However, your testimony is not yet concluded, and you are invited once again to come uh, to uh, testify in this courtroom tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. You may now return to uh, your uh, place of residence. And uh, duty council, the chamber would like also to thank you for your assistance. And again, you are invited to return tomorrow to uh, provide your assistance to uh, the witness. It will commence at 9 o'clock. And the court officer, in collaboration with Risu, please uh, make necessary transportation for Mr. Pitchum to his place of residence and have him return to this courtroom tomorrow before 9 o'clock. Security personnel are instructed to take the two recuse, Nunchi, and kill some corn back to the detention facility and have them return to attend the proceedings tomorrow morning before 9 o'clock. The court is now. Demain, avant 9h, l'audience est levée.